Hi, this video is to show you how to add a deduction that has a goal, uh, kind of like a court order or a, a 401k loan type scenario. So I've logged into the demo company as Kathy Watts, the administrator, and she's received a court order for a student loan on one of our employees. So when we go to the employee record, let's go to the payroll tab and then we'll go to the deduction section and we're going to click the three dots to add the new deduction. Looking for student loan, I'm going to select that and um, change the beginning date of the student loan to 8-1, leaving the end date blank because we're going to end up putting a goal in rather than putting a date to end this. In. So we're going to move on to the next section for the settings. Settings usually are bits of information that come from the court order. So like the ID would be found on the court order. You would also find the issue date on the court order. So we'll put that issue date. We'll find whether it's federal or state and it's going to come out on every pay. The next thing we find on the court order is whether it's a flat or a percentage amount. So we're going to put a flat amount and we're going to set the amount according to the court order. We'll put the jurisdictional limits in. It would be 25% of disposable earnings. And then that is it. So let's save that. And now that we've saved it, we have the option to add a goal. So let's click on Goal, then you enable it by clicking the button, and we'll go to the three dots again to change the amount from zero to the balance of the order, which is $3,000. We don't need to put any other information in, and we'll just say Save. We'll save the page again, and now I want to show you what it looks like in Payroll. So I'm going to say Process Payroll. I'm just going to jump into the next payroll and down here under add edit pay statements we're just going to test this by adding a pay statement for our employee and I'm going to put some earnings in so we can see what it looks like click save and then we're going to preview and now we can see the student loan shows up with a $3,000 goal and $10 coming out on this check. So that's all you have to do. I'm going to go back and remove the uh, pay statement uh, since it was only for test purposes. And that clears out the payroll and we're ready to go.